Hello my viewers. Uh, remember the Mighty Pump? Well, you know, the, the company that makes the Mighty Pump um, really surprised me. They have, I mean, I cannot believe that any company would um, do what they did. And what they did was, is they sent me two extra hoses with a really nice letter explaining that uh, some of the early models that they had sold had uh, possible holes in the hoses and they I couldn't believe they actually sent me two replacement hoses absolutely free and I I mean I can't figure out what company would do this uh, I mean it just amazes me well put it this way if they had a cap I would wear it proudly because I mean any company that would stand by their product like that deserves my business okay especially okay, another thing I want to talk about is uh, the possibility of having mismatched split systems uh, to give you an example uh, let's say you have a, a condensing unit that is a three ton condensing unit and you have it connected to a, a, a four ton air handler well now you may think that that's mismatched and it may very well be but to find out for sure you really need to write down the model and serial number of both the air handler and the condensing unit and either get a hold of the manufacturer's tech support and ask them if it's mismatched or not or you can take that information generally to a uh, an HVAC store that deals with that brand and find out for sure if you have a mismatch and uh, now some manufacturers actually purposely uh, not mismatch but they match their systems unevenly I mean I'm going to give you an example uh, Payne P-A-Y-N-E uh, they are made by Carrier and they make uh, I know um, a condensing unit for example um, let's see they'll take a three ton condensing unit and match it with a three and a half ton air handling system and that is properly matched um, and so you know I, and I've, I've known some others to match them even differently now and then in some parts of the world uh, you can actually get away with matching uh, uh, smaller condensing units with larger air handling systems uh, that uh, you couldn't do in some other areas of the country or world where you have uh, uh, humidity problems. Now, <clears throat> the problems with that you may be faced with if you truly have a mismatched system let's say your condensing unit is much smaller than the air handling system for example uh, uh, let's say you have a two ton condensing unit tied into a five ton air handler okay I mean that's grossly mismatched I mean I don't even think I need to get a book to figure that one out but let's say that's what you have now the problems that you'll have is that you'll never get the right amount of superheat across that evaporator coil and matter of fact you might even have problems getting oil back to the compressor uh, so that means by the way uh, you're gonna have problems with humidity um, and uh, so nobody's going to be happy in that scenario. The other possible mismatch, of course, is the other way around, 
where you have a large condensing unit, let's say your condensing unit is 5 ton and you have it tied into a, a 2 ton air handling system. Now we're talking about uh, problems with slugging the compressor more than likely because again you'll never get the superheat or even subcooling to be right. Uh, you know, or let's look at superheat first going across your evaporator you, in the cooling cycle. Um, you'll have a flooded evaporator more than likely and, and uh, your compressor is going to be slugging liquid refrigerant. Um, it's, it's, uh, and it's just not going to be good for the system all over. Um, so that's, that's another possible scenario. So anyway, if you can think of other ways or should I say other things that uh, could go wrong with mismatched systems, uh, let me know. Another is, I had a question somebody asked me in regards to uh, inexpensive electronic leak detectors. Inficon makes a very good inexpensive leak detector that is under $150 just as you had requested. Um, it's, um, it's called the TechMate Refrigerant Leak Detector. Check it out.